about today. I hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing pretty good. I thought it's time to do a whipping chat. Um, I started this yesterday. Stacy and I were playing around. And actually, I think I started it not yesterday. Let's see. Sunday night. Yeah, today's Wednesday. I lost track. I, I know when I started it. <laughs> I started it Monday night. Sorry, you guys had to think a minute. Got my days all mixed up here. Um, I started this on Monday night. I did the first section. And then yesterday, Stacy and I were talking off and on, and I finished this row. Um, I'm finding that I like to work in sections going down now i probably won't do that with every painting that i do because uh when i do alice and one um uh, alice in the sea of tears i think that one will be way too big for me to try doing it so i'll probably go across on that one but well on these small ones like this i find that i really like just doing it in little strips all the way down so, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good. My husband's gone walking, so I got some time to do a quiet whipping chat. Um, and thought I'd bring you guys along and just see what we can get done in our diamond painting. Now, this one is real sticky, y'all. My last one, I was really disappointed in that one. That one was not sticky at all. So, that was, that was hard. But, anyway, let's get started. So, I hope everybody's been doing good. I've been doing pretty good. Went and had my ultrasound done yesterday. Did get back in my files some uh, information that I really don't understand any of it. So, I'm not going to talk a lot about that until after I see my doctor and get all the results from him. Uh, I do know that if you have celiac disease, which that's one of the things they're testing me for, it shows in my blood work. Um, this is just... Um, the doctor confirming because when I had the blood work done they told me that I should see uh, my gastrologist and have it uh, confirmed so I finally decided since I was having so much trouble with my stomach to get that confirmed once and for all and so um, I know that if you have celiac disease that that can cause to uh, more issues if um, if you don't do what they tell you to. Whatever so, doctor tells me I need to do to make myself hang around for a long time, <laughs> I'll do. Because, um, you know, nobody... Nobody wants to be sick, so I'm not real worried at this moment. Like I said, I haven't really talked to my doctor, and you know, we read, unless you have some kind of medical uh, training background, uh, reading um Charts don't mean much to me because I don't understand a lot of it. So, we'll see. Me and my glue is just, <laughs> doesn't want to work today. Uh, does anybody else have problems with their diamond, dime, with their glue dots and their, their uh, wax? If I, if I leave mine uncovered it's like it dries out really fast 
Uh, Stacy says hers will last her several days, but mine mine doesn't. I don't know if it's the weather, uh, the climate. <laughs> I have no idea if that makes a difference. So, I had a question. Uh, when I posted my video the other day, I had a little bit of excitement because I got a small uh, straightener. And I had a question from a friend uh, about the difference and what, what exactly these straighteners uh, are used for. Okay. Let me, let me show you real quick. This is the small one that I got in my package uh, with this, this painting, and I was so excited about it. Uh, let me see now. Let me locate my large one. This is the larger one that came with my light. And, uh, okay, these, you can use them to, when, you, when you're doing your painting, to go along the edge to make sure your diamonds are all straight. Just push them over. It helps to keep that outside row all the way around straight. Now, you can use this, but to, to go down in the middle and straighten from what I understand. But these are thick. So it's hard to do without getting your diamonds messed up. So I only use this to go around the outer edge. Well, with, with this one, it's very thin. You see how thin that is? This one, you can go right down in here and you can straighten your rows of diamonds if you want to. You can do that. Um, makes it nice if you if you got some crooked diamonds and you want to straighten them. That's what it is. It's it's a straightener. Just uh, uh, say you put down a row and like okay, I get say this one here. I'm a long way from there. There's a long gap in between here and I want it to be closer I can just kind of move that up it's that that's all it is it's a it's a straightener it helps to straighten and line up your diamonds and they're nice to have uh, some sometimes they come in your kits like like I got this one in this toolkit which was cool I was really happy to get it it excited me <laughs> Y'all couldn't tell that, could you? Um, so, that that's what they're used for. And uh, they're just... that that's, that's just all it is, you guys. Nothing major. Um, I almost have what I need. See, I don't... Y'all can't see the whole top of my desk. But my desk is not a big desk. It is, I don't know if I can measure it or not. Um, I'm not good at measuring. I'm horrible. My husband will tell you that. <laughs> but I'm going to try and measure a little bit because Okay, my desk is about 23 and a half to 24 in, uh, wide this way. Um, so that's not a whole lot of room for doing your, your dime when you got a large picture like um, the one I got from Diamond Art Club of Alice. Uh, in the Sea of Tears. So what I am looking for, I saw on YouTube, 
one of the ladies, uh, I think, I think it was Add More Zest, I think. She used a pool noodle or a pipe insulator and she split it and then she took the, the end of her diamond painting, she slid it in and then she was able to roll it up and that kind of keeps it out of the way when you're working on it. So I'm looking to get a pool noodle or something and the store doesn't have the pool noodles in yet. You know, we live in a, a cooler climate, so things are a little later getting in the store when it comes to swimming pools. Um, should be coming in soon, though. But, um, I'm going to have all of that stuff together in the next uh, week. Uh, probably by the time I finish this painting. And um, then we're going to start working on, on the Alice painting. So, that's, that's what I meant when I said I got to get everything together. It's not that I don't have everything I need. It's just I thought what I would do is I would roll my uh, diamond painting up under my desk here. Because I'm I always... I start my paintings at the top. Some people start at the bottom. Some people start at the side. Now, I start at the top on the larger ones, and I go all the way across and work my way down if it's a bigger painting. So far, I haven't had any really large paintings, so I've been doing the smaller ones uh, like this one. I find that, like I said, going from here to here and across because I'm left-handed that way my my arm don't get in what I'm doing uh, it, it works for me um, but uh, with that one I'll be working from the top down and as I work my way down uh, I will roll <laughs> my finished I'll roll it this way and it'll lay up on the back of my desk here uh, otherwise I would have all of my diamonds rolled up in my lap or laying in my lap and so that's my ideal I'm new at this I haven't you know most of y'all watch my channel know I haven't been doing diamond painting um, that long just to, since uh, November if anybody has any other ideals on on how I can do it and keep it out of my lap. Hey, leave me a comment. I'll gladly uh, read it and uh, maybe even do it. Who knows? <laughs> if it's something that'll work for me. Um, I'm going to take a second here and say I hope everybody's have a blessed day from the Lord. If you have a prayer request that you would like for me to pray for, put it in the description below. I mean, in the comment below. I don't know why I always say description, but in the comments below, and I'll add it to a prayer list. If you want me to announce it on my video so that it make like a prayer chain, I will do that, but you have to tell me that you would like for me to uh, do that. Because I believe in prayer chains. I believe in that the more people who pray for each other, the better it is. Uh, because uh, we all need uh, prayer. We all need to join each other in prayer. And to, you know, I just think... It's a good idea. This is something new that I am doing on my channel. Uh, it's not something that I've done in the past because I just, I don't know, I just kind of always felt it was something that, I don't know, I just didn't do it. I, I guess that's the only way to put it, just really didn't do it. Uh, but 
um, something I've been thinking about since I, I went to the ladies retreat and I don't know, maybe it's something that the Lord has put on my heart, but it's something that I want to do. So all you got to do is, I mean, you don't have to tell me what you need prayer for. God already knows that. I don't need that information. Just, you know, just say, you know, pray for me. Um, or if you have a family member, you can request prayer for them. Uh, if you want to put in there uh, uh, what you want the prayer for, that's up to you. But there again, I don't need to know. God already knows. Uh, this is not a gossip section where, oh, did you read this? Uh, this person needs prayer. For no, uh-uh. Nope, God already knows what your prayer need is, so that's up to you. You don't have to give me any kind of description. All you got to do is say, uh, pray for me, or pray for my family member. Um, you know, like I said, I'll gladly do it. I'll, I'll pass it on that you need prayer. Uh, if it's for an illness, you can say for illness if you want. Like there again, like I said, I don't need to know. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to take a moment and put that in because it's something that I feel led to do. Uh, don't know. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm... I'm not perfect, you guys. Uh, I'm really not. I slip up a lot. I make a lot of mistakes in my own life that I have to pray about all the time. Uh, I, I try to pray. When I tell people I'll pray for them, I try to make sure I do. Uh, so... I'll do, I will do the best I can to make sure if I tell you I pray for you that I will. I don't feel I need to do a long drawn out prayer or long drawn out explanation. God knows everything before we even open our mouths. So that's it. That's, that's the whole thing right there. If you have a favorite verse, share it with me. I will gladly go and read it and enjoy it because I love scripture and I'm always looking for for uh, scriptures to read right now I'm reading uh, I just started reading through the book uh, through the Bible in a year um, not the first time but you know I, I think that we can always use uh, another read through and uh, right now I'm reading in Luke I did the 30 days with Jesus where uh, it, it leads you through the birth the resurrection uh, the death and the resurrection or the crucifixion and the resurrection ever how you want to say it I just read through that and uh, I'm like okay now, I thought about going back and reading it again, but most of it, I've read it and I understand it. So I thought, what do I do now? And um, so I decided to start um, reading through the Bible in a year. So I went through in my Bible also in the back. It has... Um, the daily read uh, to get you through the year. So I'm reading it, reading Luke right now, and uh, looking looking forward to my reading every day. So trying to grow in the Lord. So you know, just trying to do what I feel and that that's right. But 
anyway that's what's going on with me so how's everybody and how's things going with you guys um like i said my husband went walking he's gonna he asked me before he left if i wanted to go somewhere when he comes back just go out riding around i said sure so when he comes back we're gonna go out for a little while i guess driving um you know there's it's rainy he can't get outside and do anything he's been working outside uh, the last couple of days because it's been nice but today it's rainy so he can't go outside and uh, he he's getting tired of watching his tv programs you know he's Kind of wants to do something besides lay in his room and watch TV. Because <laughs> he, he usually goes in our room and, and watches TV in there. Because I usually watch uh, YouTube in the living room. And he's not fond of my, my YouTube channels. <laughs> so. <laughs> so what do you do? It's either I watch something I don't want to watch or he watches something he doesn't want to or we just split up and watch in separate rooms. So that's what we do. When I'm when I'm uh diamond painting with Stacy though, he he'll go he'll come out and piddle around, but he he still stays in his room and watches his videos. His um, he watches those, the old shows like, uh, Gilligan's Island and, uh, True, True Murder Mysteries and just, you know, things like that. Um, it, we have subscription to Netflix and I have Prime and, uh, so... And then there's YouTube, so he can watch anything he wants. We we have antennas, so we don't get, you know, cable channels. But we have all the channels that we need. And, um, but he, he doesn't really watch movies. He likes the old stuff, and that's what he watches. He, he watches a lot of documentaries. He likes documentaries, uh, you know about stuff and that kind of thing I got a new painting coming today it's just a inexpensive one from Amazon uh, I'll do an unboxing on it when I get it it's it's a really cute one um, yeah uh, I just, you know, it's one of them days when my my brain isn't thinking straight. <laughs> so, Stacy, I watch her videos and I kind of get tickled at her because she's always saying that she can't think of anything to talk about. You know, and, and I tell her, you know, just talk about anything. It don't have to be anything special. Talk about your day. Talk about your flowers, your gardening, and Stuff like that. And she said, but I don't have any flowers. And I said, well, talk about what you're planning on putting out. And uh, I talk about your garden. I don't have a garden. Well, talk about what you're going to plant in your garden. I can remember uh, before she had her liver transplant, before it got real bad, uh, she would call me in early in the morning, really early, Uh and I'd be having my coffee, and she'd have hers, and, and she'd say, come on, let's go out and see what's on the plants today, and she would take me, take the phone, we'd go out, and she'd tell me what kind of vegetables was growing, she'd tell me how her tomatoes were doing, and her, her, uh, her, uh, onions, her, she get, she grew peppers, and, uh, okra, uh, her husband likes okra. I think she does too. You know, and she's wanting to do, she wants to do a raised garden again, but um, 
she's not sure how that's going to work. Um, her son's there. He could help her some. Stacy does, you know, like I said, Stacy has trouble walking and stuff and getting around. She has to use a, a walker a lot um, when she goes out and about because of balance. So she's nervous about being out and doing stuff outside without, you know, somebody being there. And I don't blame her because if she was to fall, she could hurt herself. But, um... I told her when her when her her son isn't working to uh, have him help her get her beds ready, you know, get her little containers. I was telling her she could grow her some potatoes in a five gallon bucket, but uh, I don't know if she's <laughs> willing to try that or not. Uh, I seen them do it on YouTube. I haven't ever tried it in the bucket. Now, we have put them in, in a barrel, like a plastic, a big five-gallon, uh, I guess five-gallon. Anyway, really big, big plastic barrels that my husband cut in half. Uh, he has, we have planted in them, and they've done pretty good. So, there's a lot of ways you can grow... Uh, vegetables nowadays. You don't have to have a huge plot of ground. Uh, I've seen people take uh, wood planks, I call them wood planks, and build like a box, you know, so wide, so long, and plant uh, strawberries and green beans and onions, you know, not all in the same one, of course, but uh, she has a pretty nice backyard that's fenced in pretty decently uh, that that she could probably have a couple of things back there that she could plant uh, vegetables in. She would have to have help keeping the weeds and stuff out since she can't get down and bend over and do the stuff. But, you know, she could do what she could and Kathy could help her some and you know, I think if I think if she got serious about doing it, I, I think her husband probably would help her too. He'd, you know, I'm I'm thinking he would anyway. Yeah, my pen ain't even popping today. What's the matter with it? It should pop. <laughs> you guys are getting silent popping while I'm talking. <laughs> it's. I am using a three-placer, a uh, three-placer and a single. Uh, I don't really use the bigger ones yet. I have tried using a four-placer and a six-placer, but I'm not comfortable with it yet. So I stick with this um, three-placer. <laughs> when I start doing Alice the Sea of Tears, now I might I might be changing my mind on that so that I can use something bigger and get through it a little quicker. But like I told Stacy, I'm going to have two paintings. I'm going to kit up for Alice, and I'm also going to kit up for my little elephant. That way, if I get tired of working on my Alice one, I'll do a smaller one for a little bit, you know, just kind of switch it around and not get bored. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to wrap her up and put her away. I just want to um, kind of, you know, just kind of move her around a little. Yeah, my, my, uh. My glue dots, I don't know what's the deal with them. They just really run out quick. And I think it's the dryness here. I, I just, maybe it's the weather affects them. I don't know if that's possible or not. Maybe I should Google it and see what Google Doctor has to say about glue dots. <laughs> Let's see. Just see. 
if it affects them. So, I think I need to get myself just a little bit more wax. My wax wears down quick because um, if you've never done diamond painting, your your glue your diamonds have uh, like a little build up. Um, they're kind of I don't know if y'all can see that they're kind of round on top, and then they are flat on the bottom. Well, when you pick them up, you're picking them up. Your your pen picks them up with this round part here because the flat part goes down on your painting. And um, you, uh, <laughs> I dropped that, I dropped them too. Um, so you want to uh, have them where your... Uh, glue dots, anyway, where the flat goes down, but uh, what I'm trying to say and I, have, I, I needed to pick up the mess I made, so it sidetracked me uh, when you're using your glue uh, not your well, your glue too, but mostly your wax on the end after a while it makes an indent in here, so that you're not really able to pick them up, so you have to add a little more wax, or <laughs> or you have to uh, dig it out and put new wax in. So, anyway, I got some diamonds in my wax. So, where's my tweezers so I can get that out before I go any further, any further and make a mess. You know, they're always here under my hands, except when I need them. Let's see. Let's get you out of there. That's the only thing with these Harbor Freight containers that you really have to be careful with. Like I said, when you open them, you have to tap down uh, your diamonds so that they're not on the back when you open it. Because... If uh, if you forget, like I just did, and just open it, you're going to have diamonds everywhere. Uh, with this, it wasn't so bad because I don't have that many diamonds in here. But let's say, uh, which one? This one. See, this one has a lot of black ones in there. If I'm not careful, I'll have a whole book. Excuse me, I have a whole bunch of these everywhere. So, that's something you got to really watch. And all it takes is, okay, they're, they're, they're sitting in my tray like this. So, <laughs> when you know they all fall down, that's funny. When I pick them up, usually, see how they lay on there? I don't know, can y'all see that? How they're lined up here. All you're doing is you're just tapping it. You see how they fall down? So, that's all I'm talking about. So, anyway, I have not forgotten my giveaway. And we'll get to that at the end of the video. So, if you don't watch to the end of the video, you're not going to, you're not going to hear about the giveaway. So, if you haven't made it this far in my, my video, you're not going to hear about the giveaway. So, we're going to continue and see how many people actually watch this to the end. I want to tell you guys, if you do watch it to the end, don't mention anything now. Don't give it away when you put in what I tell you to and what do what I tell you to. Because the less people that watch it, the less people that will know, and uh, if you don't mention it, they're not going to go looking for it, or they're not going to, you know what I mean? So, let's see how many people actually watch my videos all the way to the end, because 
the giveaway will be coming. So has anybody bought anything interesting from Dollar Tree lately? I have not, other than my little jars that I use uh, for my diamond painting once in a while. I was talking to Stacy. She's going to give me a container when I go see her. She said that Harbor Freight has containers like this that these here are in uh, that you can buy with nothing in them. So uh, she, she's she got a couple of them uh, that, that she's gotten. Uh, they're bigger than this one. The empty ones are bigger. So she took her little boxes from the smaller ones and put them into the bigger one. And she's going to give me uh, one of hers to uh, put my uh, Dollar Tree stuff in. So I'm excited about that. And I might look for uh, one of the bigger ones. Just so I have them because, you know, I don't plan on doing huge, huge paintings. But when I do do them, some do do, when I do do them, sometimes they may have a lot of colors. And so it'd be nice to be able to kit up all in one container. Uh, plus, I was thinking about uh, ways of keeping my special diamonds and stuff like that without having a lot of boxes and stuff sitting around, just have, you know, I don't know. I'm all new to this. So you guys will just have to learn with me, I guess. So tried eating a little breakfast this morning. Tummy doesn't feel too good right now. Um, don't know how long I'm going to stay on today. Uh, when I, uh, when my stomach isn't feeling good, it just takes the fun right out of doing anything. But I did want to do a whipping chat. You know. Weather has been not too bad. We're supposed to get some storms today. They said some could be severe. But we're not going to get storms like they got in the south uh, with the tornadoes and stuff like that. Uh, the lake really saves us, believe it or not. Uh, a lot of things will uh, disappear as it comes across the lake. And um, so it'll, it'll just, uh, just go away before it gets here. There is a word for it, but that's the only word I can come up with. Um, which is nice. Uh, I think there's only been really one, one tornado uh, that actually come close to doing any damage here uh, in our area. And that was back when my kids were very young. Uh... Actually, my husband uh, had a brother who uh, was suffering at that time from lung cancer. And a uh, very nice young man. He was in his 30s. And uh, his name was Jimmy. He, uh, he, uh, uh, he was, you know, always really good to me and the kids. We didn't... We didn't really go around much because I never really got to know Jimmy a whole lot. He was uh, one of my husband's brothers that I really didn't, just didn't get a chance to get to know. He, we got this storm, uh, came up. My husband had gone to work and Jimmy knew that I was home with the kids by myself. And that was back before you had cell phones, you guys. <laughs> You know, they had the phones that, that you hooked up in your car or the CBs, but you didn't have the cell phones. They had pagers. Anyway, he, uh, uh, we, it, this storm came up and the kids and I, we 
got in the closet in, in my bedroom because we didn't know where else to go. I don't have a basement. I have a crawl space. And um, we got under there in, in, in the closet and kids were scared. And my phone started ringing. I didn't have a phone in the bedroom. The only phone I had was in my kitchen our living room at that time. It was in the living room. And um, I told the kids to stay put that I was going to run and get the phone because it might be their dad. And he'd be worried if I didn't answer. And so, I mean, the, the wind the wind was blowing, but, you know, it wasn't, wasn't horrible yet. We were just under a warning, so I took precaution. And uh, I went and answered the phone, and it was it was my husband's brother. He was calling to make sure that we were okay. And of course, um, the uh, the phone wire we had a, a really long phone wire, and I said the phone was in the living room. I apologize. My kitchen used to be where my craft room is before my husband added on to the house. Uh, so it was actually in the kitchen and we had a long phone wire that I, I strung it through to the bedroom and I sat in the closet talking to my brother-in-law, assuring him that we were fine. Um, after it, the storm passed, and it got light out, we could see that the neighbors next door had a corn shiloh, I think is what they were called, where you store corn. And it had blown that over and uh, a couple of other things that it had blown over and a couple of trees had took down, uh, but nothing nothing at, at my house uh, it just pretty much went on either side of us it was the weirdest thing but that's the really the only time that we that I can remember having really that close to coming to a tornado around us so we've had high winds that have took trees down and knocked our electricity out for hours and days, but nothing, nothing that tore up too much homes or anything. We've come close. It, they've come really close, but that's it. And I'm very thankful. I think I'm thankful for that old lake out there <laughs> that watches, you know, splits that storm up. Of course, I know God's the one that watches over us. And um, lake don't hurt. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sure y'all didn't really need to hear all that. But hey, it's all about talking, right? I'm just telling you a little bit about things and a little bit about nothing, really. I tell y'all what, if there's anything y'all want me to talk about on my channel when I'm doing these whipping chats, how about y'all chirping in and putting it in the comments below, and we'll talk about it, and uh, just see where it goes. Now, I don't know if you guys will see my uh, part two of my journal before or after this video. <clears throat> so, if you see it before, then I I hope you liked it. If you see it after, <laughs> if you hear me talking about it and you haven't seen it, be sure and check it out because I'll be doing that one too and getting it all uploaded and making sure my journal I want to finish this journal I've never done one from scratch completely from beginning to the end so it's fun to see how it's going to turn out so got some interesting videos up just posted one 
of uh, doing a five tag challenge. Ever, I don't know about exactly what that is. A five thing challenge. Something Chris Wilson wanted me to do with her. With her and I, I don't know. I just, I, I'm not up to that kind of stuff. It puts me on the spot and I don't really... It makes me uncomfortable, I guess, is, is the whole thing. Uh, I can get on here and I can diamond paint and run my mouth for hours, I think. Not really make any sense to anything I'm saying, but I don't, I'm not uncomfortable about it. Where, when I'm having to think of how to put certain things on something to make it look cute. I lose my train of thought. And that don't mean I won't ever share those things with you guys. It's just, I lose my train of thought. So, uh, y'all just have to bear with me when I'm doing them. So, I didn't, I didn't sign up for any, uh, Facebook swaps for April because uh, I got, you know, I got this health thing going on with the doctors that I'm trying to get worked out, make sure everything's okay. And then my husband's talking about maybe we might take a few days and go south. So I got that going on and I did want to be committed to doing something and, um, you know, when I might not be home to do it. So, I wanted to make sure that I was going to be home before I make a commitment. So, I didn't commit to any swaps in uh, April. So, so you won't, probably won't see any swap videos. It's funny how... We, you know, I love doing challenges because I get mail. <laughs> That's my whole thing about challenges. I don't do challenges because I need anything. I do challenges because I get cards and I get a little bit of friend mail once in a while. And I just like going to the post office, y'all, and getting something out of my box. I, uh, I, I pay for my box by the year, and if you don't ever get anything, then, and you're spending money for something, and, and, and you're not, you know, you're not getting anything, it's a waste of money, and I can't justify it, I guess is the whole thing, so I'm trying to justify having a P.O. box, and that's why I do challenges. I don't know. Is there anybody else like me <laughs> that does that? <laughs> For so you know what? So you can get mail. Isn't that, isn't that sad? That's so sad. Oh, that's a different color. Some of my grays are mixed. Uh, they they were mixed when they when I down kit when I up kitted. What I've been doing, okay, where'd my little tray go? Right there it is. What I've been doing is putting these mixed ones in uh, my little tray over there. And then when I run across that color, I'll put it in here. But, um, yeah, I just do challenges to get mail. I don't really do them because I need something from anybody. It's fun getting them, and, you know. So, how far are we? Yeah, we've been on here almost an hour, and to tell you the truth, I don't know what to talk about today myself. I'm just jibber-jabbering and carrying a one-sided conversation since y'all can't join in. <laughs> So, leave me some comments. Give me something to talk about, y'all. 
Um, we finished a square. I, I made smaller squares. I usually make them way over, but I've been jo I'm enjoying this so much. I wanted to do them a little smaller squares because they go quicker. Um, my next square, I'm going to be getting into his face a little bit and his head. And uh, I found out that these Y uh, symbol, number 24, is uh, ABs. I thought they were when I looked at them. Can y'all see that shine? I don't know if you can or not. I can't tell. But... I went, I went on the website on Amazon and looked it up and I asked them if it had ABs because there's no uh, DMC codes. So I had no way of looking up anything. So I just went on there and I asked about it and uh, they, the answer was yes, that uh, it was uh, ABs. So... That excited me because I don't have any ABs. I do now. I think I have two that's going to be on the Alice picture. And then I got this one. I'm hoping I have some of them left. Because I have to go all the way. Or, you know, I got his head. I got his back all the way. And then there's the AB and, you know, here and there. So, but I'm hoping I have some left. So I can start my stash of ABs. And uh, I had this. I, I, I don't know if I showed you guys my little journal that I did. How I did it from a sketchbook. Well the other night I decided to give it a front. You know. I covered it. And I put Diamond Painting Log 2022. That way I know these are all the ones I did in 2022. And I put my name down here and book one. Because, who knows, if I do enough painting, I might fill up two books. So, I thought that was cute. Stacy thought it turned out really, really good. I've had some of them uh, letters so long that I actually had to use some glue to get them to stick. I really need to start using my, my stuff. But like I said, I don't know what it is about uh, this year. It just seems like nothing is sticking. If I use glue, it just, I don't know <laughs> what the deal is. It's real crazy. But what's new? Everything this year has been crazy, right? Okay, now. The moment that we've all been waiting for. In order to join my challenge for a diamond painting, all you have to do is use the word diamond in a sentence. It can't be just diamond. It's got to be in a sentence, or I will disqualify it. Um, you know, everybody, everybody pretty much knows what it means to you to use a word in a sentence. So, I'm not a very smart woman. I'm not going to try explaining it. So, I'm sure y'all got the the gist of it. So that's all you got to do. And uh, when. Let's see. This will be for one week. I will draw or pick a name. Actually, I may even have the... Um, if I can figure out how to do it. I may have the picker the, uh, from the phone to do it. But I got to figure out how I can do that in video. I may have to video on my uh, tablet and draw the name that way because I would like to do the uh, the number picker, whatever it is anyway. I don't know yet. I may just have to put y'all's names in a, a bowl and do it like I did my challenge. Either way, I'll leave it in God's hands and see how he wants me to do it and that's the way I'll do it. 
But that's all you got to do, you guys, to join my challenge. Don't say anything about the challenge in in your um uh, in your your comment. I'll disqualify you if you do. And I will delete it. I'm not trying to be mean, but I want people to watch my videos all the way to the end. And that's what they have to do to um be in this challenge. Uh that's just the way it's going to be. I hope you guys watch the, to the end. I hope you'll join and win um, a painting. Uh, ever who wins my, my uh, challenge, I will speak to you about what, what kind of painting you want. And we'll go from there. So, I'll look forward to it. I'm trying to thank you guys what a week from, uh, let's see, today's the 23rd. So, let's just say the end of the month. What is there, 30, 31 days in this month? So, the last day of the month, I'll do a whipping chat and we'll pick a name. How's that? Uh, and I'll try and do it early in the morning and post it the same day. If I can get it done, I promise I'll do it. <laughs> so, you've got till uh, March 30, 30 or 31st, whatever the last day of the month is. Don't have a calendar right here in front of me. <laughs> I don't know why. I usually do. I mean, I got one that I have to, that I do a daily thing like, you know, I got this. Hayden keeps up with it, but I don't have all the days together right here. So, I think I said it all. Anyway, whatever day I, I, I do the whipping chat, which will be either on the last day or the day after, it depends on whether my husband goes walking, because I don't know what the last day of the month falls on. So, I'm kind of in the air with that. Uh, but you guys know, whatever whatever day, the last day of the month is on, uh, that's it. That's the end of it. So, you won't see anything from now until then about my challenge. It's got to be in this video. So, you got to watch this video. So, that's just it. I'm sorry if you miss out. I don't mean for you to. But... This is the only way I know who's watching my videos. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. God bless each one of you. Don't forget to pray for everyone. Um, you know, that, that's in our, our YouTube family. Don't forget to pray for our soldiers, our country, our politicians, our churches. Our, you know, I don't know. Just don't forget to pray, y'all. We Everybody needs prayer. And uh, don't forget to put your prayer request or request prayer uh, if you have a prayer need. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. God bless each one of you. And thank you if you're new for joining me. And I hope you'll subscribe and come back and help my channel grow. I would like to reach a 1,000. I've been trying to reach a 1,000 for five years. I haven't got there yet. But you know what? Maybe it's not God's will, and that's okay. So, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget to smile. Say a little prayer for me. Bye, y'all.